Hi everybody, it's Richard here and welcome to another video. Um, this is a response to a video that uh, Rachel, the Music Man VC, put up last night to name 10 of your favourite vocal performances. Uh, the idea actually came from Harry Zlot Zlotto, but I don't think he did a video. I also think uh, a little bit of credit needs to be given to Emma at Eight Vinyl Low because this was actually one of her questions in her uh, competition at the end of last year and for that I mentioned I think it was Queen's My Melancholy Blues so I'm not going to mention that today. Now before I start um, I know really nothing about the uh, how good a vocal is. I don't know anything about scales and pitch perfect and all the rest of it. I'm not a vocal instructor or anything like that. I only like what I hear and I hear what I like. So um, some of these are obviously fantastic performances but other ones are maybe not brilliant performances but mixed with the actual music background for me they're absolutely fantastic. Okay so I'm going to do this uh, female male female male uh, the way Rachel did last night. Okay so first of all oh my hi Rachel have to give her a wee wave because she waved at me. Okay, uh, first up, I know I'm not a fan of this girl, but I understand and I accept she's a fantastic singer. It's just I don't like any of the songs that she sings, apart from this album, and that's Barbra Streisand, and this is a guilty album, and I could pick a lot off this. I will pick Woman in Love because um, the high notes that she reaches and holds is absolutely amazing. But I must say, things like uh, Run Wild and The Love Inside are every bit as good. So, Barbara Streisand gets my first choice. These aren't in any order, by the way. Okay, um, to go alongside that, and I have to give Art Garfunkel singing Bridge Over Troubled Water. Now, it's well known that he sings this himself. I'm not so sure. I think in the seal on Silver Girl, but if you really listen to it, unless they've actually uh, mixed his voice twice, I think Paul Simon's voice is in there as well. But 99% of this is sung by Art Garfunkel, and the, the finale ending is absolutely amazing. It's a brilliant song, brilliantly sung. Okay, something a little bit different um, for female. I'm going to go for Melanie. Uh, this is Melanie Safka and her album uh, Please Love Me. Um, it's like a compilation album of songs featured on various films and so forth. But there's a song off here called Pebbles in the Sand. Now Melanie can, as I said before, scream like a banshee. But her voice sounds so um, fragile in this. And the music accompaniment with the uh, very sort of slow picking banjo and the sound of the sea, it just it's a beautiful, beautiful listen. There's a really, really good video of this on YouTube. It's like a custom made one, but it's excellent, which shows uh, moving pictures of Melanie along with um, uh, pictures of people today by the seaside. It's just a really, really good video, but this gets my choice as well. I absolutely love it. Melanie, Pebbles in the Sand. One you wouldn't really expect me uh, to show and this one here um, is The Fury Brothers and Davy Arthur. Uh, the album is When You Were Sweet Sixteen. I could pick that title track but I'm going to go for the song I Will Love You Every Time. Now it too has a very very slow picking banjo uh, a very lightly strummed acoustic guitar and a uh, Finbar Fury's voice. It sounds like a very um, uh, fragile, drunken Irish gypsy voice. And it is gorgeous. And the, the actual song itself is gorgeous. Check it on YouTube if you don't like it. It's not to everybody's taste, but um, yeah, I, I do actually quite like the Furies in this album. It's fantastic. And I. Uh, I love the cover as well. That is your stereotypical um, Irish calling on the cover. So I will love you every time by the Furies and Davy Arthur with Thumbar Fury singing. Okay, next up, and one of my favourite groups, ABBA. 
and this is the visitors and the very last song on this is called Like an Angel Passing Through My Room. Now what a gorgeous title. This is their last album and it's sung by Frida and it's haunting. You almost feel a bit of a shiver going down your back when you listen to this. Um, it's got, it starts off with a, a tick tock of a clock and it also has this sort of a, a musical box feel to it but uh, our vocals on this are absolutely beautiful and Madonna actually covered this as well and issued it as a b-side to one of the singles from I think the music album in 2000 so um, people know about this including Madonna it's a gorgeous gorgeous song and that's like an angel passing through my room um, Mail Van Morrison um, Belfast guy this is Astral Weeks and the song I'm picking off this is Ballerina. Again the musical accompaniment really makes this, it's like acoustic with what I always think is a, like a, an out of tune bass but um, he's got a fantastic uh, real soul voice and he's a brilliant brilliant singer and this is uh, from 1968, it's actually his second solo album, it's regarded as his first but it's really a second. Um, it's brilliant and it goes on for about eight or nine minutes. It's just a fantastic song, Ballerina, and that gets my choice. My third male choice. Okay. Fourth male choice. Ah, the females again, sorry. And this one here, I have to show a single. And this is um, This Mortal Coil, Song to the Siren. And this is a very, very haunting vocal by Elizabeth Fraser. Now, this Mortal Coil are basically, I believe, the Cocteau Twins. I don't have any Cocteau Twins material, although I do know a couple of songs, like Pearly Dewdrops Drops. But um, this I bought at the time. It's the old Tim Buckley song. Brian Ferry covered it as well, and I'm sure a lot of other people did too. But again, it's, it's 1984. Or is it 83? I think it's 83 or 84 and um, the, the, it's very 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 moody very haunting and you could almost find this in a ghost story beautiful beautiful song and uh, as I say I bought it at the time love it then love it now and the fourth male um, this is the guy that could break your heart with singing and this is Roy Orbison and the song I'm picking is Running Scared from his crying album. Uh, man, I think it was Bruce Springsteen says uh, nobody can sing like Roy Orbison. Nobody should even try because nobody can do it. It's fantastic. You know, he can break your heart. He can actually bring anybody to tears with his voice. And, you know, the Running Scared song is it, well, the actual song is about a guy. He's no self-confidence about a girl and he thinks this fella's going to steal her but it turns around that she ends up with him. So it's a beautiful song, Crying Roy Orbison. And the, the last female one, um, I'm going to give it to Kate Bush, um, Wuthering Heights. Now, I love Wuthering Heights. I think it's the best single ever. But for vocal performance, which I think is brilliant, I'm actually going to give it to the new vocal from 1986, which became a B-side to Experiment 4, and it opened up this album, the whole story. The reason why I'm doing it is the vocal's a little bit further up in the mix, so yes, you can hear the vocals better. But in the uh, guitar instrumental outro, oh, she goes all Yoko Ono and starts screaming, and it's absolutely really, really good. It's so effective. Absolutely brilliant vocal. And so Kate Bush gets probably my favourite female vocal um, with Wuthering Heights and I say it is the new version from 86 and um, probably my favourite male vocal is David Bowie and it's the Sweet Thing uh, Candidate Sweet Thing Reprise medley it's really one song it goes down as three on CDs it goes down as three in this LP as well but whenever he did it live on David Live, it's just called Sweet Thing. It's almost a croon from David Bowie, and the, the, the voice he gets, I just, it amazes me. Whenever he sings, when I'm scared and I'm lonely, and he lets yelp with the word scared, 
it's absolutely amazing and the whole track is probably my favourite track of all time it was never a single thank goodness because I'm actually showing two of my favourite songs of all time so David Bowie Sweet Thing Candidate Sweet Thing Reprise absolutely wonderful vocal and his best vocal on any of his records so okay so that's my response to uh, Rachel's thread well I can't say it's Rachel's thread but there's so many other people linked with it but um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope other people jump on this as well so that's me for now um, everybody stay safe stay indoors don't go out if you don't have to and I hope to have another video quite soon all the best now bye bye